Okay, for this project, I am using Caron Simply Soft, which is just 100% medium weight four ply acrylic yarn. You don't have to use this brand. Any type of four ply yarn will work. And there are 315 yards in this skein. One skein will be enough to do one dress. And the color I'm using is Mango. And then I got some regular white for the edging. And then you're going to need either a button for the back or like one of these hook and eye closures. Um, you sew these on with a regular thread and needle. They just sew on one side and they hook up on the other side. Or you could use a button if you don't have these. But that's to close the back of the dress. And I haven't decided yet, but maybe a ribbon rose if I, if I decide to put that on. And you can sew that on with a thread and needle too. And I'm going to be using a size H, which is a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to check down below in the description for the written pattern. Or for the link to the written pattern. Okay, we're going to start off with the slip knot on our hook. With our main color here. And we're going to do a chain of 50. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, once you get your chain of 50 done, what you want to do is do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And we don't count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, four, double crochet into that fourth stitch. Like that. And now we're just going to put one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. like that. So just continue putting one double in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Okay, once you make it to the end of row one, you should have a total of 48 stitches and that is including this chain here on the end. That counts as a stitch. So 48 counting him. And now what we want to do for row two as we're going to chain three and turn our work. Now that chain three counts as a double crochet. So what we're going to do, we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. So that's going to be this one right here. Not this very first one because that double crochet is taking the place for that, or this chain three is taking the place of that stitch. So we're going to work right here into the next stitch and we're going to put one double crochet into it. And now in the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. That's going to be our increased stitch. So two doubles into the same stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double, one double. So we'll go ahead and do that one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next and then the next stitch we'll get two double crochets into the same stitch one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so one double one double into the next and then two double crochets into the next like that and that is the pattern repeat for this row it's two double crochets in a row and then two double crochets in the same stitch so one double one double two one double one double two all the way until you get to the end of the row and when you get to the end of the row you should have a total of 64 stitches at the end of row two. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row two. 
and I did my two double crochets in a row and now my last stitch will get two double crochets into the same stitch and that's going to be right here in the top of this chain here in the end so go ahead and put two double crochets right there in that last chain on the end and remember you should have a total of 64 stitches at the end of row two now to start row three we're going to chain three and turn our work that chain three counts as a double crochet now we're going to put one double crochet right here into the next stitch not this very first one but this next one like that and then we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch so counting that chain three we have three double crochets in a row and now the next stitch will put two double crochets into the same stitch so there's one and two now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so there's one two and three and then two double crochets into the next and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so one two three and then two double crochets into the next and that's the pattern repeat for row three three double crochets in a row and then two double crochets in the same stitch so we got one two three double crochets and then two in the same stitch one two three double crochets and two in the same stitch and you want to repeat that to the end of the row and you should have a total of 80 stitches when you get to the end of row three okay I'm coming to the end of row three and my last two stitches are going to go into the top of this chain three and remember you should have a total of 80 stitches now at the end of row three now what we're going to do is we're going to connect our work now so we're just going to kind of flip our work over like this instead of turning chain three and turning we're going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three here and that's going to connect our work like that and now we're going to chain three and turn our work to start row four so you go ahead and chain three and turn just like that now what we're going to do is so that chain three counts as uh, our first double crochet so now we're going to do one double crochet into the next three stitches so there's one two and three so counting that chain three we have four double crochets in a row now what we're going to do is two double crochets into the next stitch one and two. Now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then two double crochets into the next. And that is a pattern for row four where I'll probably start saying rounds now because we're going to be working in rounds or I might say rows two it's hard telling what I'll say but <laughs> one double crochet in each of the next four stitches so there's one two three four and then two double crochets in the next 
So you're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way around until you get back to the beginning. And when you get back around, you should have a total of 96 stitches at the end of round four. Okay, once you make it back around and at the end of row four and you have your round four and you have your 96 stitches, uh, you should have two double crochets in your last stitch. And you look right here, it looks like a stitch should go there, but it's not. That's actually that chain three went there. So 96 stitches and then you want to slip stitch into the top of this chain three. And then we will start our armholes now for row five. And what we're going to do is chain three and turn our work. Oops. And turn. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the next 14 stitches, starting with this next stitch right there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, and that's 14. So you did 14 double crochets and then you count that very first chain three so you got 15 double crochets in a row now. Now what you want to do is a chain of two like that and now we're going to skip the next 19 stitches. So you just start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, and you want to put a double crochet into the next one. So skip 19, put a double crochet in the next. So with that chain two still on your hook, you just yarn over and go into that next one and double crochet. And that is one armhole formed. Now we're gonna put a double crochet into the next 28 stitches, counting this one as number one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay I got my 28 stitches there done. Now what we're going to do is a chain of two again, and now we're going to skip the next 19 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then with the chain two on your hook, go ahead and double crochet into the next one. Like that, and that formed your second armhole. And then you want to go ahead and put one double crochet in your remaining stitches, counting this one right here, you should have 15 left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, once you make it to the end, what you want to do is go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three. Now we are not going to be turning our work anymore. We're just going to be working round and round now. So what you should have at, after the end of that uh, row five there, you should have a total of 58 stitches. And what that's counting is these stitches here and the ones in front and these stitches here. We're not counting these stitches of the armhole. So it should be 58 stitches, not counting the armholes. So just like right across here. And remember, we're not gonna turn anymore. Get that on my hook. So for round six, what we're gonna do 
is chain three, count as a double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in these next 14 stitches up until we get to this chain two space. So one double crochet in each of them. Okay, once you get to this chain two space of the first armhole, you just want to go and put two double crochets right through the chain two space. So you just go right through it and put, there's one double and two doubles, like that. And then we're just going to continue along, putting one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the next armhole. I apologize, my camera keeps focusing. Every time I move, I don't know why it's doing that. I've been trying to fix it every time I stop it, but it keeps doing it. I don't even have it set to autofocus, but it keeps still doing it. It's weird. Okay, so one double crochet in every stitch until you get to your next chain two space. When you get to your next chain two space, you just put two double crochets right through the space. And then you continue putting one double crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way around, you want to end with a slip stitch into your first chain three there, into the top of it. And you should have a total of 62 stitches now at the end of round six. So that's counting all these stitches here through the sleeve. We're still not counting these though. So now we're going to start the skirt part of the dress. So we're going to start with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Now that chain four is counting as a double crochet and a chain one. So we're going to go right back into the same stitch and double crochet. So what we kind of just did there was a V stitch. We got the chain three that's acting as a double and then the chain one, and then another double crochet. So now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna skip the next stitch, and then the next stitch we're gonna be stitch. We're gonna put a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet in the same stitch. So that's the V stitch. Then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Skip one stitch and V stitch into the next. So that is the repeat this time around for round seven. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip one and V stitch into the next. that. Chain three, skip one, V stitch into the next. And you want to repeat this all the way around. Skip, or chain three, skip one, and V stitch into the next. And when you get back around to the beginning, you should have a total of 31 of these V stitches. So I'm going to continue all the way around. Okay, once you made it all the way around, you want to make sure you chain three after your last V stitch. And then we're going to end by slip stitching into the third chain of this beginning chain four. And you should have, like I said, 31 V stitches now, like that. And that will end round seven. Okay, now round eight, we're just gonna slip stitch one time right here to this first V stitch. And then we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, 
four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we're going to go back into that same chain space and double crochet. So that's our first V-stitch. Now what we're going to do for this, this round is chain two. And then we're going to come and we're going to single crochet right here through this chain three space from the previous round. So right through here, just go right through the whole space and single crochet. And then you chain two again. And then you go to the next V-stitch, the chain space of the V-stitch, and do another V-stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet just like that. And again we're going to chain two and single crochet right here through this big chain three space. Chain two again, one, two, and jump to the next v-stitch and do a v-stitch. So this is actually a really easy stitch to do. So double crochet, if my yarn didn't split constantly, chain one, and double crochet. And then we're going to chain two, single crochet right back here into this chain three space, chain two, and V stitch into the next V stitch. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. I actually ripped this all out already. I, <laughs> I had it like my whole skein crocheted and I didn't like it so I took it out. I didn't think anybody would like it. I mean it wasn't really that good so. Then you chain two again and single crochet into the chain one space. Chain two and v-stitch into the next v-stitch space. So I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around. And this is what it's kind of starting to look like. And when you get back around, you still should have 31 V-stitches because we're still keeping V-stitching in the same on top of every V-stitch. So you're always going to have 31 V-stitches. Chain two. And then V stitch into the next V stitch. Chain two, single crochet into the chain three space. Chain two, V stitch into the next V stitch. So I'm going to continue this around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round eight, and I did my V-stitch here, and I chained two. Now I wanna go through this last chain three space and single crochet, chain two, and then I'm gonna end it by slip stitching into the third chain of this beginning chain four. Like that, and you should have the 31 V-stitches, just like that. Now actually it's just a repeat of those two rows now, so it's pretty easy. So we're going to slip stitch over to the first V-stitch and we're going to chain four because this is how we start every row. And then we're going to go back into that same spot and double crochet. So that's our first V-stitch. Now we're going to do what we did over here, so we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to skip all this and jump to the next V-stitch and V-stitch in it. Chain one and double crochet. And then we're gonna chain three again. And then skip all this, look for your next V-stitch right here, and we're gonna V-stitch into that V-stitch. Chain three, skip all this here, find your next V stitch and V stitch into it. So it's kind of like what we did on the seventh row. Oops. Chain three, 
chain three, skip this stuff, find your next V-stitch and V-stitch in it. So you're just going to repeat this all the way around and you'll still have your 31 V-stitches when you make it back around. Okay, I've made it back around and I did my V-stitch here in this V-stitch. I chained three and I'm going to end it by slip stitching into the third stitch of the beginning. Chain four, 31 V-stitches. Again, I'm going to start by slip stitching over into that first V-stitch. Chain four. Go back and double crochet into that same spot. And now I'm going to repeat the row before that by chaining two and single crocheting right here into this chain three space. Chain two, V stitch right here in the top of this V stitch. chain two, single crochet right here through this chain three space, chain two, v-stitch right here into the top of the next v-stitch. So now it's the smooth Salem from now on. It's just repeating these two rows. Chain two, single crochet right through that chain three space, chain two and v-stitch right here into this v-stitch space. So we're going to repeat this pattern for as long as we want the dress to be and that's what it starts to kind of look like. You know of course your baby will have to wear some type of slip underneath it. But I'm going to keep going. Okay I've done a total of starting from row one one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to 19 rows. And your last row should be where you have the V stitches with the chain threes. Okay, now I'm just going to start my edging color, my white, right here where we left off in this chain one space. And I'm going to make some shell stitches. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a chain of four. And now that chain of four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So I'm going to go back into that same spot and I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go back again and do a double crochet and chain one. I want to have a total of five double crochets in chain ones in between them. So I got counting this one, I got one, two, three, and then I chained one. Here's four, chain one, and there's five. Now we're not going to chain one after that last one. What we're going to do is jump right over here to this chain three space and single crochet into it. And now I'm going to jump to the next V stitch and I'm going to do this again. So I'm going to yarn over and do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, that's three, chain one, double crochet, chain one, that's four, one more, double crochet, and that's five. Then don't chain one after that one. Come right over here to the chain three space and single crochet. And now I'm just going to repeat this all the way around. So I'm going to jump to the next V stitch space and I'm going to do a, do it again, double crochet, chain one. That's one. Here's two, chain one. Three, chain one. Four, chain one and five. Don't, don't chain one after that last one, but go ahead and single crochet into the chain three space. 
Now I'm just going to repeat this in every single one of these V-stitches all the way around. Okay, I've made it back around to the beginning. And now what I want to do is make sure I single crochet into this last chain three space. <clears throat> and now I'm going to end by slip stitching into the third chain of this beginning chain four. Now you can be done with your edging if you want now. I'm actually going to go around and put some picots on it to make it look a little bit more fancier. It's a little time consuming, but it looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do is go right back into that same stitch. I'm actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to jump to in between the next two, that chain one space and single crochet. And now I'm going to do a pico. So I'm going to chain three. Now normally people, I think, put the slip stitch back into this first stitch to form a pico. I like to slip stitch right here in this two side stitches. It makes the pico more, uh, it holds it more in place. Uh, that's my opinion anyways, like that. And that forms that little ball. Now what we're going to do is single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Single crochet into the chain one space in between the next two double crochets. And that's where we'll do our pico again. So we'll chain three. Come back down and I slip stitch right here to the side there. And that's our pico. Single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. And then single crochet into the chain one space in between the next. So the picos are going into that chain one space. Chain three. Come back down and slip stitch. Right here in the side here. Single crochet into the top of the next double. Single crochet in between the next two doubles, the so chain one space in between. Do your pico, chain three, and then come back down and slip stitch there, like that. And then single crochet into the top of that last double. And when you look, you should have four picots. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely skip this single crochet here and single crochet into this double crochet of this next shell. So the first double crochet. Like that. And I'm going to start again. And then I'm going to single crochet into the chain one space in between. And then I'll do my pico. Single crochet into the top of the next double. Single crochet into the chain one space between the next two doubles. Do my pico. Single crochet into the top of the next double. Single crochet into the chain one space. Pico. Single crochet into the top of the next double. Single crochet here in this last chain one space. Pico. Single crochet into the top of the last double. And you should have your four picots there. And I do. So I'm just going to start again. I'm going to skip the single crochet completely and start by single crocheting over here into the first double. And then single crocheting in between them, that chain one space, and doing my pico. So I'm just going to continue this around until I get back to the beginning. And like I said, if you don't like that, you don't have to put it on. It's your dress. You do it however you want. 
just a little time consuming like I said but it's pretty just add a little bit of a nice touch to it so I'm gonna continue going around till I get back to the beginning okay once you get all the way around what you want to do is slip stitch into that first single crochet you made not the chain one the first single crochet and then you can tie that off and be done with that edging and now I'm going to work on the sleeves which I already have one done I decided to do, do the poofy sleeves on this one so these are pretty easy to do okay we're going to start our yarn maybe here mine's all tangled up for some reason now both sleeves are going to be made the exact same way so I'll just show you on this one and you can do the other one the same okay we're going to start right here in like the little armpit area now you want to start your on yarn when you open it up in this stitch right here right next to this this stitch which is actually right next to the to the two that we put through the chain two um, earlier on in the beginning remember that so start right there and we're going to start off by doing a chain of three now what we're going to do is we're going to triple crochet three together so in this spot right here next to it what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over go right through this chain space draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook now we're going to go in between these two stitches yarn over go in between them draw up a loop yarn over go through the first two loops on our hook and then we're going to go right here in this space on the other side of the stitches we're going to yarn over go in draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook like that then you go then you go through all four loops on your hook and what you did is you took three stitches and you made it into one now this little spot here you want to put one double crochet into that spot and then this stitch here is kind of like the side of a double the double crochet on the side kind of I put one stitch and I kind of go through it like that just one double crochet and then one double crochet right here in this big spot and now I'm just going to work one double crochet in every stitch around just like this until I get back around to the other side so all the way around until I get back over to here and I'll meet you back up over here somewhere okay once you've made it all the way around I have 25 stitches so far counting this chain three this will be my 26th stitch this kind of side of this double right here like we had on the other side you just put one double crochet kind of through that like that and that'll be 26 stitches because we tr did these three together and that only made one so then we're gonna slip stitch into the top of our beginning chain three now we're gonna chain three again now this time around we're gonna put two double crochets in every single stitch all the way around so I'm gonna go back into that same stitch and put a double crochet and then I'm gonna put a double crochet or two double crochets in the next two double crochets in the next two double crochets into the next all the way around back to the beginning and when you get back around you should have a total of 52 stitches at the end of this row two on the sleeves so two in each stitch okay I've made it back around and I got my 52 stitches on the sleeve so I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three I'm going to chain three again which is counting as my double crochet now this time I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch 
all the way around. So row three of the sleeve is one double crochet in every stitch and you still should have 52 stitches when you make it back around. So just like that. One double every stitch back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around again on the third row of the sleeves. You want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three. Now this we're going to start decreasing because you can tell that it's really kind of big looking. So we're going to make it look a little bit better now. We're going to chain three. And now we're going to do a, a double crochet decrease. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and go through all three. So that took two stitches and made it into one. Now we're going to do a regular double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to do a double crochet de decrease over the next two stitches. So we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, and then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, and then yarn over and go through all three. Now we're going to do a regular double crochet into the next stitch, and then a double crochet decrease over the next two. So we'll yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, and then yarn over and go through all three. Now we're just going to keep repeating this pattern all the way around the whole sleeve. One double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet decrease over the next two. Regular double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet decrease over the next two. So go ahead and repeat this all the way around, back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it around and I just did my last double crochet decrease and you'll have one stitch left. Just go ahead and double crochet into that one and then in with the slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three and you should have 35 stitches now. Now what we're going to do is chain three and we're going to repeat that row again. So we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next. And then double crochet decrease over the next two. And double crochet into the next. Double crochet decrease. And double crochet. So I'm just repeating the round I just did. And that is the fifth round of the sleeve is what we're working on. And I'm just repeating the row before. Okay, I've <clears throat> made it around and I did a double crochet, de my last double crochet decrease. I have two stitches left and I'm just going to go ahead and double crochet in each of those last stitches, just one in each of them. And then you should have 24 stitches now and on that fifth round of the sleeve. So you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three. I'm going to do one more row of decreases. So I'm going to chain three for my first double crochet. Now I'm going to put one double crochet into the next. And now the next one is going to be a double crochet decrease over the next two. Like that. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double crochet into the next, 
one double crochet into the next and then double crochet decrease over the next two like that again I'm going to one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so there's one one and then double crochet decrease over the next two double crochet decrease in each of the next two stitches so that was or one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so that was one two and then double crochet decrease over the next two and we're just going to repeat that back to the beginning okay once you make it back around you should have ended in a double crochet decrease go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three and now you can tie this color off and now i'm going to switch colors man i cut that close on this orange yarn i guess do not have very much left but i made it <laughs> So go ahead and tie that off like that and then we're going to start with the white and just do a little edge on the sleeve and I'm just going to start in the same spot that I ended in and you just want to start your yarn and chain one and now go right back into that same spot and single crochet now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and then I'm going to do a pico. So I'm going to chain three, go back down, and slip stitch. That. And I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into the next one. And then I'll do a pico here. So one, two, three come back down and some stitch like that try that again I got shaky hands today I drank too much coffee one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next and then pico. So we're just going to repeat this around. We're just single crocheting and we're picoing in, in every other stitch. Yeah. Way too much coffee for me. <laughs> single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next and then pico. So go ahead and finish this pattern all the way back around. Okay, I've made it around and I just did my last pico and now you want to end up by slip stitching into your first single crochet Not the chain one but the first single crochet you did clip your yarn tie that off you should have nine picos On each sleeve remember you just do both sleeves the same I think I'm just gonna do a couple more things before I am done I'm gonna do just a white border around the top again. You don't have to do that. That's completely up to you but you want to start your yarn let's see flip it over and to make it look right you want to start it I don't know why that's all tangled up right here and then we'll work this way that way the stitches will be facing the right side so just start your yarn up here in this very first stitch here Where your knot's at. Kind of right underneath it, I guess. I guess it doesn't even have to be exactly there. Just kind of just go on the one next to it. It doesn't gonna matter. Okay. Now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna go back into that same spot and single crochet. And now I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch across the top. 
just to clean up the top edge and make it look a little neater. I'm not going to do any picots or nothing. Of course you can if you want. They'd be pretty up here. I'm just about picoed out now though. I don't really want to do any more. <laughs> I've done so many on the bottom and stuff. So I'm just going to keep going around and put one single crochet in every stitch along the collar here until I get back over here to the other the other side. Okay, when you make it over here to the other side, you got this last little chain here. Just kind of slip stitch into that. Like that. And that will end that edging row. You can clip that off and hide all the tails. I have a lot of tails to hide. So now I think I'm just going to make a little crochet flower to put on it. I was going to put the ribbon rows on it, but I, I use them these. You can use these if you want, but I use them on a lot of my dresses. So I'm just going to make a homemade crochet little flower real quick. So I'm going to set this to the side. Okay, for the flower, you don't have to do this, but start with a longer tail if you're going to, so you can sew it on with that. And I'm going to start off with a chain of, let's see. five and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. This is be a really easy flower. Now I'm going to chain three and now I'm going to work two double crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one, two, Now I'm going to chain three and slip stitch back into the ring. And that is going to be one petal and I'm going to do that five times. So it's just a tiny flower. One, two, three, two double crochets back into the ring. There's one, two, chain three and slip stitch back into the center. So I'm going to do that five times so I have five petal flower. Okay I just made my fifth petal and I chain three and slip stitch back into the ring. Now I'm just going to tie it off and then I'm just going to sew it on somewhere on my dress. Yes. Now if you um, you can straighten it up and get all the petals together. If you pull this center, it should make that circle a little smaller. But I actually have a little button thingamajig here that I'm going to put in the center of my flower like that. And you can use any type of button or you don't even have to use a button. So that little circle doesn't matter to me. That's what I'm going to use this other button on. But I'm going to bring my dress out here. And you just decide where you want to put it. It's really up to you. You can put it anywhere in the center. I'll probably put it up on the side here a little bit. Just kind of place it wherever you think it's going to look best. Let me lay it out here. The center would be kind of cute. Down there would be really cute. I don't know. You just decide where you want to put it. And then you just use your yarn and yarn needle to sew it onto the dress with this, with your tails.